Hello and welcome to the devotion for Tuesday, January the 10th, the second reason for pain in the world. Now yesterday we talked about the first reason. We said we have an us problem, that we tend to make really bad decisions from time to time, that our desires drag away and entice us, and that we can never say that God is tempting us because God doesn't tempt people, but we are led astray. Now the second thing that we struggle with is scripture says we have an enemy. In Ephesians 6, 12, it says, Our struggle is not against flesh and blood, people. It says, It is against rulers and against authorities and against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. Therefore, he says, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you can stand your ground. There's bigger things that we are dealing with. We have an enemy, spiritual forces are playing a role. Now, in John 10, 10, we read this. The thief, speaking of the devil, comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy, but I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. In the same way, James 4, 7 says, submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. It says, when the enemy comes in like a flood, raise up a standard against him. In all these passages that we see, we hear that we are going to have to struggle. Now, Jesus, we know, uh, was tempted by the devil uh, in the wilderness and had to stand. And the way that he stood was by quoting truth, scripture, by saying, this is what the word of God says. This is what is truth. You can try to deceive, you can try to distort it, you can try to twist it, but this is truth. When uh, it says that the devil was uh, disputing against, I mean, when the archangel Michael was disputing with the devil over the body of Moses, it says that he didn't even take a charge. He just simply said, the Lord rebuke you. And so we know that we have authority. We have the ability to stand. We are not victims. We are not overcome. But Satan is going to try to tempt us. He's going to try to steal. He's going to try to kill. He's going to try to destroy. How do we overcome that? First of all, we've got to know what truth is. That's the reason we need to have a deep understanding of the Word of God. We need to know what is truth, what is healthy, what is alive. In fact, at one place, Jesus is talking, and he says, listen, he goes, many will come. The enemy, the thief and the robber will come, but the sheep won't listen to that voice. They'll only follow the shepherd. And he talks about, he goes, he goes when they hear that voice, they would run away. Boy, I wish that was always true. You know, the problem I have is sometimes the voice of the thief and the robber is pretty familiar. Why? Well, because I've listened to it so much, and sometimes the voice of God seems a little distant. Why? Because in my flesh, I want to hear that deception sometimes more than I even want to hear the truth. So i got to know the truth. And Jesus said, when we know the truth, it sets us free. So i got to know what's up there so that I can recognize that voice and go, oh, that doesn't sound right. That, that is not consistent with what I know to be true, with what I know God has told me. And then the second thing we have to do is we have to stand firm. We have to know that he's not just a marshmallow. He's not going to be a pushover. We're going to have to resist. Resist means to stand in opposition to. We're going to have to stand there. Sometimes we will need to get support of other people around us. We'll need to get prayer support. Sometimes we need to uh, be able to say, hey, listen, I'm temptable. I'm struggling. I'm, I'm really working at it here, but I need some encouragement. I need other people around me. But to know that Greater is he that is within us than the one who is in the world. We are able to stand. We are. But we have to war. That's the reason Jesus, I mean, uh, in, Gal in Ephesians, the very first pa passage that we read, said we have to pull on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, we will be able to stand. What is that? First of all, it's helmet of salvation. we got to know the Lord. Then breastplate of righteousness. we got to be living it. we got to have that right place with the Lord, and we got to be fighting to live it. Um, you know, none of us are perfect, but we got to be fighting for perfection because that's part of what we're called to do. Our truth, uh, the truth of God, it says like a, a a loin girding, and so we have salvation. Then we have a righteous life, walking in the truth, and then He said, feet fitted with the preparation that comes through the gospel of peace. 
And so we began to understand that when we walk where God's called us to walk, it will be a peaceful place, even if the enemy comes. And then we have two other. We have the shield of faith, where we just trust God, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, which is what Jesus did. He quoted Scripture. He said, no, this is truth. What you were saying is a lie. It is a deception. So when we have all of those things, those components, we have the ability to stand firm, to not be a victim. So let's pray. Father, we know that uh, all this provision is there, that you said that you would war as we stand with you, that your word is truth, that if we use your word, we stand in faith. As we walk in the truth, as we live that righteous life, as we know you as our Lord and Savior in that salvation, we are equipped to be able to be victorious. You said that we would resist the devil, that we stand against that and that he will flee from us. And so, Lord, we are looking for you to give us the wisdom, the strength, the courage, all the things that we need, and that, Lord, we will be faithful to walk in them, to observe them, to, to be strong in them, and look for you to do that work in us and through us. And so, Lord, we just thank you in advance that you will be here, that you will bring that strength, that you will give us the ability to be victorious over any scheme or plan that the enemy might try to bring against us and that we will recognize it as the voice of the thief and the robber. So Lord, do that work in us. Do that work through us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, guys, that's the word. That's the truth. So I encourage you, stand strong, walk in it. Realize we do have an enemy. We must resist, but we will overcome because greater is he that's within us than the one that's in the world. And I'll see you tomorrow.